evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm joined as ever by Nerdy Gamer. Hello, dog. Hello, hello. And, uh... We're traveling up north. You are up north. You are I up north. am up north. And I am going to set up some wonderful artillery turrets. And I'm going to make sure that all these biters up here are not going to be a nuisance anymore. I feel as if you are close enough to them that when you put the artillery down, they will start auto firing. Maybe, maybe, so, but we have uh, plenty of turrets. Yes, but just just be aware of that that they might um, yeah start blatting things. So there. there's nothing worse than uh, something. Hey, look, surprise! <laughs> no, that that is quite horrible when the uh, fighters show up on the fly man mm, all right, fine okay so i want to tap into this wheels over here somewhere here yeah they're shooting they are a shooting All right, uh, let's put some stuff into trash slots just for now, and we will ask the artillery train. Uh, you come up here. I just had a little freeze there. Did you have that? Uh, I didn't. No, not this guy. Okay. I have had them though, so. All right. All right. Fighters are coming. Jesus, there is a lot. But they are dying quite nicely. Why well, am not just using full patch? This makes so much more sense. The only good fighter is a dead fighter. Well, I'm sure there are some biters that would disagree with you, but... Yeah, well, they don't have a say in the matter. Ah, it's that sort of dictatorship. Yep. It most definitely is. It most definitely is. Where's my train? Any other type of dictatorship where you know I'm your friendly dictator? Yeah, uh, I, I I think it just works one way, really. Uh, either you 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 love me or you don't belong. Ah, uh, love me or I kill you. Yeah. All right. Well. It's too far away now that for it to auto fire. So let's send a few there. shells out this way. Let's send some shells out this way. I don't really care about worms. I just want the spawners to die. Yeah, they'll die. Let's kill those three words. I don't know if there's something up here. Can you tell? Seems like there was something there. It's gone now. All right, so those guys are gone. Let's try for these guys. And there, there, I can fill this up. Awesome. There's one. Now we just need to go the other way and uh, connect it onto that one. Die, die, die.
that's it. You can do it. When you really, really want to, you can die. And that makes me very happy. I don't know, just death of trees, death of biters. Well, it's, it's all glorious. It's all glorious. The Grudian battle ended with the victory of not the biters. Exactly. What's that? We do have that they don't expand on, right? They, they, they don't settle new bases. Once we kill them, they're dead. I don't remember. I think we do. I'm pretty sure we do. Oh, oh. Here comes a lot of biters. They're gonna just get swatted. Oh yeah. They are getting swatted. It's beautiful. It's glorious. It's glorious. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can we hit you over here? We can. Okay, I think that's those spawners gone. And um, let's get these guys. Weird. Still, you, you can pull uh, pipes and uh, uh, conveyor belts in a straight line, but you still can't pull power poles in a straight line. Okay. Yeah, that's a little weird. Really? Right, so those guys are gone. Zoom. Can we hit all the way over way. here? We can. Nice. Zoom. is hoping these will fill up nice and easily. Oh, one more. Thank you. This pipe is empty. That's that batch oh, gone. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Yeah, see, this one's got a tank here. I don't think I want a tank here. I think I want to take out this batch down here. Because we are actually getting attacked down there. So maybe come down here and set up and... Destroy some of these guys. Oh, yeah. Um... Stop attacking my stuff. Lots of things are under attack. They are. You have angered the biter gods. I have. That's okay. That just try and pressurize the pipes. Not that it matters because these these have got pipe or whatever. There we go. Okay, so there's that oil. Uh, that doesn't. I don't know why that's. Uh, oh, here comes some more. Let's right just there. stay here and make sure. Because uh, we are struggling for iron, aren't we? Very much so. Yes. Uh, but mostly oil. Well, I've tapped into a bit more oil, so hopefully that'll do better. That's empty. Okay, you tapped into the to those two already. Yep. Great. Yep. I need to put some radars down here that will probably get attacked by some biters at some point. Although there's no biters left to get attacked from, so. Um, I think we need some more lasers down there. If we come attack the radar, then we'll have to just bring some more artillery shells out. Yeah. There we go. Uh, we need that. We also need uh, everything. Um, so, um, let me do everything. Not you. You. There. Okay. So that's going to do its thing. And then there. And disable. As it was as it went required. Uh, I'm gonna go to here. And okay. that off. 
We need to call a train because we're out of shells. You can get through a lot of them. That's that's why I kind of like the artillery trains because you can have them like you just call them and they open fire us up and then they drive away and reload. Yeah, that is really nice. That is really nice. And we should get artillery trains, shouldn't we? I think that would be useful. I think that would be useful. But I don't think that they grow back. I'm pretty sure that we didn't turn no, on I, that I, they grow I'm, back. Yeah, I think we might have turned that off, yeah. Otherwise, we would be getting attacked way more than we currently are. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Okay, there's that final lane of the... Uh the refueling station put in so that's good right, here comes a copper train should get filled up pretty quick although I think the issue is that some of the trains get confused mm-hmm when it comes to parking. Well, a confused train doesn't sound good. Yeah, because some of them are sat back at the roundabout, not moving. And there's clearly parking spaces for them. Okay. So I don't quite get that, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. I think I think it'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah, so... It'll work eventually. I can actually tell you from personal experience how much a confused train is not a good thing uh, I, I, okay. was a, I was on a, uh, on a train from uh, Copenhagen to my hometown once uh, Kyr, which it's called and um, uh, so most trains in Copenhagen they go through the same station and then they split out into to different routes and i was on my train it was the correct train it was the train that i wanted to be on and all of a sudden it turned the wrong way and it decided to go the complete opposite direction of what i wanted to go and then the the train driver guy he came over the speakers and said oh, i'm sorry but we took our own turn so we're gonna have to go back <laughs> and that that is the only time i have ever experienced that on a train we took a wrong turn it's like yeah but you you don't actually make the turns all the signaling is done by the junction boxes the train yeah. just runs on the tracks <laughs> yeah exactly so so you didn't make a wrong turn somebody else made a mistake <laughs> yeah exactly and it was so weird i have never experienced anything like it before or after and i was like what the f what what the, what the hell i i mean yeah well, uh was this dangerous that was there another train coming the other way or another I, train going the same direction or that would be the thing that comes in my head it's like hang on if we're on the wrong track <laughs> yeah exactly interesting yeah uh, I, I i i've only experienced it that one time in my life and i was baffled about how the hell could that happen well it's, it's operated by humans yeah and humans make mistakes they do they do uh just behind you uh speaking of mistakes uh mm -hmm. the uh fuel train the train that you've been calling for artillery shells Mm -hmm. uh didn't didn't have refueling ticks that's my bad so okay. it's now stuck just behind you you're sort of the cut the iron the, right. uh, copy uh i think i so have if you could go and stash some uh, fuel in that uh i would but i don't have any uh i i i i, I can give it some uh i i can give it some uh some wood give it some wood or or you could uh hold up another train and uh 
No, no, no I'll, 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 turn over its cargo. I'll just give it some wood. Don't really want wood on me anyway, so. Done? Why? Why is Gappy got the fish? I don't want the fish. Shoe fish. Damn fish. Um. Alright, so I think I have done a pretty good job. A great service. Cleaning up the north. I think I'll head over to the west a little bit and clean up some there. Okay. Uh, because the biters are a little bit close to our base there as well. They're a little bit bitey. Yeah. Hence the name. Found them. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it is a creative name. I mean, it's like Graboids in... Uh, uh, Tremors. Have you ever watched Tremors? I, I have. I did not know they were called Raboids. Uh, the, the the guy who owns the shop in town, they're, they're like, we should name them. And, and they're talking about what they should name them and he comes up with Raboids. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. It's a, it's a cult classic. It is. It's, it's another one that didn't do very well at the cinema, but obviously he's uh, just fantastic. Yeah. Like uh, uh, Critters. Do, do you like Critters? Yeah, I do. Crit Critters, I thought, was a great movie. Yeah, absolutely. I remember seeing it as a kid, seeing it as a kid, and being like, "Oh, these little balls—they're so—they look—they look quite nice." And they spike people. It's like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't want to hug and squeeze those things. Wow. Yeah, but, yeah. And like Gremlin, I guess. <laughs> Gremlin was Gremlins was a good movie. Gremlins was a great movie. It's a Christmas movie. It is. It is. Uh, alternative Christmas movie, I would yeah. designate it. Yes, yeah. Alternative Christmas, but, but yeah, it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. Um, it was a great I movie. Need... I need some more power poles. You can call the train for them. I could, or I could go and clean up my mess of boxes. That's also a possibility, I guess. Uh, let's call... No, no, I couldn't clean up my mess of boxes, so apparently I don't have any large power poles in my mess of boxes. There are, so I'm pretty sure, a ton of large power poles in our uh, mall trainee thing. Where even is that anymore? <laughs> well, uh, if you go over where we make all the mass inserters, that's where everything is being made. Um, so, if we that take a look at there, probably... oh, it's not, it's not it's, stuck at. Um, it's not stuck at the. Rates. Yeah, exactly. I I think because I removed the rail pickup. Because I was yeah, sick the of it. Yeah, no longer on it, so. I, I was it's sick of it. Got stuck there, so. Yeah. Because it never had anything else on it. <laughs> so I was annoyed with it. Yeah, makes sense. Alright. And I am going to find the. Train? I don't want to destroy these old power suits, do I? Uh, I've somehow picked up both of them. I don't know how. But I'm going to put them in a box because not I, that we're ever but you know, I'm, well, my one, my one's got stuff still inside it, batteries and stuff. So. Okay, so that's useful, but uh, I, mine is empty, so I I 
I, I just stuck it in a box. I guess you put up that box. Uh, yeah, I must have deconstructed it, I think. Mm. Uh, right, I'll you, shoot. I want to yank all your power ports. That'll do. And uh, I don't need assembly machines. Nope. What I do want is uh, some of those. Oh, I don't have that many electric mining drills. That's okay. I'm sure oh. my train has some. We're shooting. We're shooting. We're shooting them, Tex. All right, we're good. We're good. That's that bit down. And we don't really need a wall here because we have a cliff that protects us. Well, that's kind of nice. Oh, here comes the ammo. No, that wasn't the ammo. And I was lucky I didn't get run over by it. Let's cut back to the previous set of signals there. Are you my train? And let's put in a... Should we put in a roundabout? Yeah, we'll put in a roundabout. You are my train. Thank you. This is my train. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Exactly. Alright, we don't even have to shoot these. At the moment, they just do it themselves, which is wonderful. What are you, where, where, are you, where are you now? Uh, I'm over on the there. west. Ah, oh, cool. You've cleared all the stuff at the top. Awesome. Let's start yeah. doing that there. Although, I think you missed a base. Did I? Base. Is that a base? No, maybe not. It might just be something that's... Uh, uh, yeah. Is it that uh, cluster on the east? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, uh, there as well. Is that, is uh, that just bad guys? Uh, yeah, that's just bad guys. It's, it's dead. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, it, it's leftovers from from the radar. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a big cluster like that. It looks it looks like bites but it's like yeah, it does. It was an army, but the fog of war says no. Hmm. Exactly. Right, um. Let's see. We were firing at this stuff down here. I think there's one there and one there. And then and over so, here, there's probably one there, one there. Along the street, and we go this way. Right, those are gone. Those are gone. Beautiful. It's glorious. Glorious purpose. Mm-hmm. Let's throw a round down there as well, and one down there, and then we're good. Come on, robots. Recharge already. Then we'll do this base down here. Die, die. Beautiful. Jesus, I already spent all the ammo again. Man! Uh, I need to put in a... Uh... It's a little bit annoying that... Right about here. They can't hold, like, just five ammo per slot or something? Yeah, I think it's supposed to represent that they are big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, artillery uh, shell, so, yeah. Uh, I get it, yeah, it's... Uh... But it's annoying that you have to call the dang train all the time. Takes time. I'm gonna stick a chest down here. So that I can at least get all the shells. Okay, let's clear out all the trees there. Let's clear out all the trees uh, here. At least I would do, but my uh, my line of sight went. I'm losing my sight. That's not good. 
That's something that you should have checked. I do regularly. Uh, there's these glasses on my face and they're constantly telling me, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I always get the same thing, but it's like, it's not that your eyesight's got any worse, it's just changed slightly. Well, mm -hmm. seems like it got worse. Okay. Yeah, to me, it feels like it got worse. Although, I must admit, I hadn't actually had my eyes tested for almost four years. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know why I took that long, because it's supposed to be yearly, because I got something with my eyes, and I don't know how it took that long to do. Um, and I got these new glasses that I'm currently wearing about a month ago, two months ago. Okay. And the world is in is in clear vision again. Oh, that's lovely. And I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. I did not know that there's, uh, there, there's people I've worked with which are like, like, oh, is that what you look like? Okay. Mm. You like, did. Maybe not you, quite you, extreme, but you know. You didn't know that the world wasn't blurry. Yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> thought it was normal, and and you mm. know, and, and considering I'm a driver for a living, uh, car headlights were always really annoying because they uh they 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 shine. Yeah. So I get I get the whole the uh the the streak shine from them. Mm hmm. And I got the uh, anti glare coating, and now they don't do that. It's like oh, I can actually look at cars, and, and and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to like just stare down at the lines on the road, and uh, drive that way because uh, yeah, my eyesight was bad. Although it wasn't bad, it was just I I just thought it's like oh, this is just you know, just normal. Yeah. But no, apparently it was really bad. So although not really bad, not you know, I wasn't a danger. Oh, that's a good thing. So I, I had really ba bad eyesight for a while, uh, and it wasn't because of my eyes. It was because of diabetes. Ah, yes. Yeah, that kind of do strange things to you. Yeah, so I, I didn't know I had diabetes at the time. Um, because I, I, I just, I wasn't really feeling that well. Uh, and I was like, um, I was tired all the time. I was tired, really, really tired all the time. Yeah. And I had to pee a lot. Uh, so, uh, and, and then I went to the doctor and, hmm, uh, well, well, the optometrist, really, uh, and they said I needed glasses, and okay, and I bought glasses, expensive glasses, and it turned out that I didn't need glasses at all. I need to get my blood sugar under control. Uh, Very nice of the, uh, yeah, the opticians to tell you. Yeah. Um, so. So yeah, my uh, apparently one's blood sugar is supposed to be between five and seven, uh, whatever that means. I have no idea. I still don't. Uh, mine was thirty something. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it was uh, it was a little bit high. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would affect you that. But that that's that's the better side of it though, isn't it? Having high blood sugar yes. is better than having low. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I have had low uh blood sugar a few times. I've passed out a couple of times because of it. Uh, in the early phases of finding out I had diabetes because I didn't know how to manage it. Yeah, that can. Uh, that, that's the big thing with it. I mean, the high blood sugar doesn't normally make you pass out, does it? It just makes you feel. Yeah, it just. Terrible. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the, the the low blood sugar is the dangerous one. Uh, do we have any uh, mining drills? Uh, I'm sure there are quite a few that are not doing anything at the moment. Yeah, I just wonder if we have any, like, spare, because I don't think we've got that much stuff mining things right now. Jesus, the coal was completely, almost completely. 1.9 million left, but there's just so little being covered. Um, okay. Uh, we, we, we don't. Uh, what, what does it take to make mining drills? Not a great deal. I just wonder if there would be a made anywhere. But, um... uh, no, there aren't. 
uh, but uh, I can definitely make it over at our mall thing. So maybe I should do that. Uh, I mean, yeah, if we need it. Um, I don't know if we do need it or not. Uh, we, we do need mining drills, don't we? I mean, we, we, we're not producing anywhere near enough or anywhere. No. Okie dokie. So, I suppose that's going to be for the next episode. Yeah. I suppose it will. Yeah. I suppose it will. Yeah, let's do that. Okie dokie. In that case, we shall leave this one here and uh, come back next time. Yeah. So, thank you all very much for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this one, and we hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.